Hello, good evening. Hello, people. Are you there? Is anybody alive in here? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, uh, I have a, a bit emergency. I need to go to the ESSS. After that, I will I will connect. Uh, I will be only a listener for a moment. Okay, all right. Thank you for telling me. Okay, thank you. Okay. I I will I, I am connect. Okay. Only listener today. Okay, okay thank you. All right, you're welcome. Thank you for telling me. All right, guys. So good evening, everybody. Uh I guess some of you some of you are just getting home right from alone in a difficult day at work. Okay, but yeah, I mean it's just two more hours of you know like but work in this case and then you can go to bed right like try to rest and, and everything so ah, very like in the last day of the week guys and so i hope you, you're coming with energy because tomorrow you know it's gonna be a weekend and some of you rest some of you like have plans for this for this weekend so and everything uh, and I guess, yeah, it's going to be fun for you guys. So I'm going to start with the attendance list. Just to start with, you know, like the class. Give me a second. Carmen Eugenia. No, okay, so just not here. Christian Alejandro. Okay, so he is not here yet. Daniel Alquimides. Present and present. Okay, Thank you. All right. Good, good. Daisy Maricela. Mm, okay, so Daisy, not oh, here yet. Edwin Alexander. Okay, not even Edwin. Edwin Vladimir. Okay, no. Estela Mabel. Present teacher. Hi, okay. Let me see. Fatima Adriana. Fatima is not here. Fatima Lourdes. Fatima Lourdes, there. I guess you have problems with the audio, Fatima, because I don't listen anything to you. And I think you're you're speaking. How to fix your audio, okay? Uh, Jaime Antonio. No, okay, so Jaime is not here. Eduardo Jose. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Carla Lisset. Here, good evening. Hi, good evening. Okay, good. Kenya Cecilia. Okay, not even Kenya. Let me see. Lorena Beatriz. Okay, not even Lorena. Manuel Antonio. 
Muchísimo. Vamos a ver Missing. María Gabriela. María Gabriela, you there? Okay, María. All right, she's present. Mary Raquel. Present. Okay, great. Uh, Noemi Betsabe. Hmm. I thought Noemi was connected, but she's not here yet. And the last one, Osbin Alexis. Present. Okay, perfect. Very good. Let me see. Edwin says, and then something for my job. Okay, Edwin. No problem. All right, guys, so let's start. But before, you know, like starting up with the class time and, and, and discussing the contents that we're going to be discussing tonight, uh, let's talk a little bit, all right? Let's try to, you know, like we have a moment of speaking, you know, in which you can feel a little bit comfortable and try to, you know, like to speak, you know, using using the, the, the language, all right? But let's talk about this coming weekend, guys. What are you planning to do on this coming weekend? Especially for the ones who don't work. What are you guys planning on doing this coming weekend? Let's just start with that. I uh, just feel a little bit more comfortable and not being like yesterday, that everybody were like kind of afraid of speaking right at the, at the beginning of the class. So let's just start with that. What are you guys planning on doing tomorrow? Or let's put it this way, this coming weekend. For example, I'm gonna start with Eduardo. What are you planning on doing this coming weekend, Eduardo? Um, good evening. Uh, good evening. I think this weekend I will try to do some, uh, some issues the like uh, renew the circulation card mm -hmm. of the car and go to the claro to to be to do a transaction transaction about uh, uh, some contract ah okay and I think only this and stay here at home resting. Okay, I mean, that's cool. So it means you don't have that much to do. Okay, I mean, that's nice. That's really cool, man. Okay, perfect. What about you, Lorena? Good evening. Good evening. Um, maybe I'm going to going go going out of my family and okay. working my pets batting my pets <laughs> okay so that's, there you go that's how many I mean. how many pets do you have two ah. so that's... i mean that's nice that's really cool there you go so basically when you don't have uh, something to do like 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 when you have your days off so you generally go out with your family Yes. I mean, that's, that's nice. Good. That's really great. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Lorena. What about you, Daisy? I am in there. Good evening. Good evening, Daisy. I, I need rest. <laughs> <laughs> you need because, to rest. Uh -huh. Yes, because I still feel sick with the flu. Oh, ah, you were sick, I right? Knew... Yes. Right. I have three days. Oh, I am, I am, uh, how says, uh, incapacitada. Ah, you got the uh, out of work. Okay, good. So mm -hmm. basically you uh, have been resting the whole time. Yes. Uh, 
I need to sleep. Only you need to sleep a little <laughs> bit more. Okay, that's great on you. Luckily, yes. you don't work right this weekend. <clears throat> that's a good thing. That you don't work. I mean, that's great. Okay, yeah, I mean, I hope you feel better for Monday to come with energy, okay? <laughs> Okay, there you go. Uh, what about you, Mary? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Well, I love sleep, teacher, and tomorrow <laughs> I will sleep. I I will uh, wake up um maybe late, <laughs> and after that I have to plan in um to do um cleaning in my house. Ah, okay. Because You're gonna do my, my house needed. Uh -huh. Yeah, and after that, maybe it's possible. I going to watch TV, or maybe to to do a puzzle. Mm -hmm. I love the puzzles. Ah, yeah. okay. Oh, well, that's interesting. And after that, maybe yeah. And after that, I going to travel maybe for my. Town, I don't know it's correct, Jujutla in Aguachapan uh -huh. for my mom because my mom is coming to visit us. I mean, that's great. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah I mean, so eh, it's good I and mean, it's good to, to, to have those kind of activities, you know, relax, waking up late. Now that you, you can, <laughs> that is great. Yeah, I mean to feel out of stress, right? Okay, thank you, Mary. Now, Oswin, what about you, sir? Oh, thank you for asking, teacher. Um, tomorrow, 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 my day will be very busy because um, I'm going to, with my wife, uh -huh. uh, I, go, I, I will go with my wife, Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, uh, I see. I see. Uh, her, her lamb. <clears throat> because, because, because the, her father uh, give her a uh, herencia. Ah, okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And tomorrow, um, we. We we stay with a uh, topographer. I don't know. <laughs> Topographist. Ah, oh, okay. So <laughs> that's the person who is going to take the the measurement right from the land. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, with the the topographer, uh, they uh, take a measure for the land, mm -hmm. for device, for device at the land. Uh -huh. uh, between division what, me, my wife and her sister okay i mean that's that's, that's good that's good all right <laughs> it's gonna be a, a, a difficult day yeah uh, because doing that uh, to those type of things is uh, a little bit harsh day yeah all right yes, yes. because we we stay with our topographer is showing and right, yeah, I imagine. Watch, watch it. Ah, exactly. Okay, I imagine how busy you will be. Okay, good luck with that, Osmin. Okay, good. Uh, let me see who else. Mary, you busy, Mary? I mean, Maria. Uh, uh Gabby? Hi, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> My day was really good. Ah, uh, really. Yes, I I have a day off, so I uh, spend the whole day in my house. Well, almost the whole day because in the afternoon I have to do I have some um documents or some um como algunos trámites con mi abuela. How how can I say okay. that? Uh, I mean to do some some going out with my grandma. That and um babysitting a nephew. Uh, so okay. it's gonna be a good night. They are really, really um easy and really calm. So I really like to be spend time with them. I mean that's great. That's really cool. Do you mm -hmm. work tomorrow? 
No, no. I have a long weekend. Oh my God, lucky you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Gabby. Uh, let me see who else is in here. Carla, what about you, Carla? Hello, good evening. Um, my weekend. Uh, I'm gonna try to do exercise in the morning. You know, walking or jogging. Um, working as well, and spending time with my family. Um, and only that I think, just taking some rest, <laughs> taking advantage of the time that I have on weekends and. Yeah, also practicing. Yeah, I leave that. I think. Ah, uh, man, but that's great. That's great. So it means you're planning on doing a lot of activities. I mean, getting your stress free. That's that's great. Really, wish I could do that. <laughs> okay, thank you, Carla. Let me see who else. Um, most of you are as a listener today, guys. Give me one second. And yes, is a listener, Edwin Vladimir as well. Carmen is uh, as well. Let me see, Daniel. Okay, yeah, I mean, some of you are as listener. Okay, good day. All right, guys. So now let's just start with, you know, like the class content. But before starting with uh, this class, guys, I would like to start, you know, like making a short feedback from what we were discussing last class. Uh, if you remember, you were working in a couple of exercises uh, before we left uh, yesterday. Uh, the final activity that you were doing, it was uh, the practicing the conversation, if you remember. But before that, before practicing the conversation, we were discussing uh, a vocabulary, right? A vocabulary chart that you did from the manual. Um, now guys, what was the vocabulary about? What do you remember from that? Let's start with that. What do you remember from that vocabulary? What was like the most relevant? Let's remember guys. I remember we talk about third party logistics. Ah, okay, good. And did you remember what is that? Um, I think we talk about transportation and uh, uh, something about uh, uh, insurance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and something about uh, no i don't remember anything more okay there you go somebody else who has who can help uh, him you remember what else were we discussing yesterday and we we talking about uh, the concept the uh, small package service claim insurance. Okay. Insurance. Uh -huh. Cargo insurance. Okay, very good. Uh, what else? Only I remember. <laughs> okay, you only remember that one. Okay, very good. No problem with that. I think we can we're gonna start working with that. Okay, guys. Uh, as I said, uh, tonight we're going to continue talking about what um, Eduardo said. Yesterday we were mentioning um, a little bit about third party uh, companies who works in, in logistics areas, okay? So tonight we're going to start with uh, something related to that. And before starting with that, I would like to show you guys Okay. 
Okay, let me see. Yeah. Temptation. Okay. Give me a second. This thing is slow. Okay. Now, we're going to be talking about the advantages of outsourcing a 3PL service provider. In this case, 3PL stands for per party logistics okay this is like the meaning of 3pl third party logistics okay so in that case uh this is like like the topic that we are going to be you know like talking a little bit but let's start we have a couple of this uh, of questions to discuss. These questions can be found also in the manual, okay? And let's just start with this one. Uh, Daisy, help me out reading. Okay. Have you heard the term third party logistic before? Okay, good. Have you ever heard, guys, the term third party logistics before? Before yesterday, I'm not heard something about. But yesterday was the first time that you heard about that term. Okay. Yes. So, all right. Perfect. Somebody else? Have you guys, for the rest, have you ever heard about that term before? No. Fatima? Fatima, are you speaking? <laughs> because for real, I mean, we don't listen to you. Probably you had issues with the audio. Uh, check that, try to check the audio, Fatima, okay? Yeah, because in the future, if you participate, you might probably have issues, okay? So in that case, Okay, you have never heard uh, you have never heard the term third party logistics. Okay, good. What about this one? Check this one out. It says, "Why do companies use three PL as or third party logistics?" Okay, we will try to find out an answer to this question by reading the term of. What is a third party logistics? And I'm gonna show you right now. Then we're gonna come back in here. Third party logistics. <sighs> okay, so this is like like what is all about. Oswin, help me a reading, please. Yes. Is used interchange. Interchangeably, I don't know how to pronounce. Interchangeably, uh huh. Interchangeably with full fulfillment warehouse or fulfillment center. Mm -hmm. Companies that provide three PO service offer many of the same service as other fulfillment companies. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, guys. Taking this in consideration that it says it's used interchangeably with fulfillment warehouse or fulfillment center, it says companies that provide a 3PL service offer, it says many of the same services as other fulfillment companies. Now, do you have any idea now what is a third party logistics provider? Teacher. Yes. Okay, first Mary uh, and then Eduardo. Okay. Uh huh. Mary. Thank you. Teacher, I don't know if it's like it's like um Estiva or the company Estiva or Ransa, maybe. What's the they function are of some them? companies that um uh -huh. uh, these companies um 
basic, but basically um, have a warehouse of products mm -hmm. for another companies and give the service to a storage and move um, the product for a, a different space. Uh -huh. Exactly. That's a very good example, Mary. Yeah, this type of services provided for a third party logistics uh, company, it's basically to offer their facilities, their warehouses, just for the storage of products from any company, right? Let's suppose uh, uh, you, Mary, uh, have a company, right? And your company is growing, but you don't have enough space to storage your products from your company. So in that case, it is good for you and advisable for you to choose or hire these kind of companies. Why? Because they offer you transportation, all right? So they can transport your product from one place to another. And at the same time, you can have access to the warehouse in which uh, the, the place in which your product will be safe there, right? Until the delivery that probably you, you will do, right? With uh, like other companies that probably you make business with. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, that, that was a good example. And that's a good example about a per party logistics, right? Basically what they do, it's to offer the services of warehouse, okay? And transportation and many other, you know, like uh, functions that they can do. Uh, Eduardo, were you about to say something? Yes, I have only a question. What's the yes. meaning of fulfillment warehouse? Fulfillment is like cumplimiento, right? So in that case, it's like cumplir con que? In that case, what? The warehouse, okay? So in that case, it's like when you offer, right? The facility for different companies to save uh, and storage their products in there, in their warehouse, right? So that's, that's, that's fulfillment, okay? To fulfill a necessity from another company. All right, so in that case, okay, that's what we are talking about. Okay, so in that case, we can say that in that case that a third party logistics, uh, their function is to provide what? To provide their facilities, to provide their what? Transportation, Okay, and many other actions for different companies that probably don't have enough space, okay, in their facilities. So that's a third, okay, uh, petty logistic company. All right, and how do they work? What do they generally offer? Check this out. This is what they provide. The first one, warehousing. Okay, this is like one of the most important ones. Okay, a place where the product can be stored, right? And in this case, give me a second. In this case, as I said, they offer the facilities for companies who don't have enough storage and tells them, hey, look, I have my facility. So I can give it to you, all right? So we can make a deal. So you store your products on my facility, all right? And we got benefit from the productivity of companies. Okay, what else? They also provide inventory management. Do you remember guys, what is an inventory management? We were discussing that term in the past classes. What is inventory management? I understand that is the is when the companies mm -hmm. have the control of the inventory, obviously, 
uh, for uh, for X products, for example. Some companies give the service of, a, um, I don't know, they say control, mm -hmm. control of inventory. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, in this case, this is like what they also offer this kind of company, right? To have an inventory management. What does it mean? If they get the product from a company into their facilities, so they can make that kind of inventory management, right? What's the reason why they might do this? Because in that way, when the company makes a deal with a different company by delivering products, so they have the product ready, right? And organized. So in that case, that's why they provide this kind of service. What about this one? Shipping and receiving. What do you think is this about? Shipping and receiving. It's relating like uh, distribution. Ah, okay. Product distribution. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They shipping, uh, send the product to the customer or some other uh, Enterprise, I don't know. No, and okay. they receive the, the goods. Uh, okay, very good. Yeah, in that case, when it talks about shipping and receiving, it is talking about the transportation of products. Exactly. From the cheaper, basically the cheaper is called to the place in which the trailer go okay, to get loaded, okay? It's known as the shipper, right? And then the merchandise is transporter in the trailer or trailer, so depending on the kind of uh, load. And then what happens in that case, guys? That product goes to a receiver. A receiver is basically the warehouse or the company in which the product is delivered, right? It's known as receiver, okay? So remember, shipper, the one, at the place where the trailer goes to get loaded and the receiver in that case is the place where the trailer gets unloaded, right? Okay. So in that case, a third party company, it, it can be in charge of this uh, movements as well. Right, this happens when uh, companies, or, you know, like the ones who produces the product, don't have trucks. Right, they don't have uh, any kind of freight to transport the product, so that's why they can hire these kind of companies. And then we have this ones, guys. Have you ever heard about FTL and LTL? Uh, FTL is a, a complete uh, truck for merchancy uh -huh. and LTL is when um, different, different companies or different uh, customers uh -huh. um, full a truck for different merchancies. Ah, okay, very good. Hey, you, you're very familiarized with this one. Okay, do you know what is FTL stands for? Full truck load. Exactly. Okay, and LTL? Is a uh, live truck load. I don't remember, less, less. Some less, this, uh -huh. this, less this, than less than love love truck less than truck no no okay no. less truck load yes exactly but it's also like this less than truck load it means as you were saying okay and thank you for 
uh, the participation. It's exactly what you were saying. Listen, guys, LTL and FTL are the types of loads. This is like the category of loads, the different categories that we have for merchandise, okay? Listen, FTL or a full truck load, it means like, for example, let's suppose uh, Mary has her company and her company is about what? Fabric. You know what is fabric? What is fabric? Like cotton? Tela. Tela. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Let's suppose our company is about fabric. Okay. Producing fabric. Okay. And uh, she has a huge, all right? She has a bulk, all right? Uh, what? Trailer. Okay. To send from one place to another. But the truck is completely full with fabric. So in that case, that trailer, that trailer, it's called full truck load because the entire, the entire trailer is full with one specific product from one company. And that trailer goes from one specific place to another specific place. Okay. It's only one lane okay it's only one lane that that truck is going to do okay what happens when you have a ltl so in ltl it's for example let's put it this way mary has her fabric company okay and maria gabriela has her what let's put the um, Shoes producer in company. Okay. So in that case, Mary wants to send a trailer with fabric. But in this case, Mary doesn't have a huge amount of product to send. So in that case, the trailer is just half of it. It's just a half. Okay. Half full the trailer. So the trailer, in order to be completely full, okay, and it's another health. So the trailer goes from Mary's company to Gabriela's company, okay? To, to, to do what? To complete, all right, the fulfillment of the trailer, okay, with the choose the products from, from Gabby. So in that case, the trailer is not going to do one single load. It's going to do multiple loads or multiple drops. They call them multiple drops like this. Yeah, give me one second. They call them like this. Paradas? Exactly. Multiple drops. So in this case, a multiple drop, it means that uh, the trailer is going to deliver uh, Gabby's products first, and then from there, that's his first drop, and then it goes to deliver uh, Mary's products in another place. So in that case, that's like how LTL trailers works, or freight works in this case. Remember, they have different uh products inside the trailer right so in that case that driver is going to do multiple drops okay in different places right and also one single company can sell multiple drops as well right with multiple uh products all right everything is going to depend on the kind of product and the amount of product that that company or those companies send from one place to another. So let's remember in that case then. So FTL, when a trailer is completely full with one product. LTL, it's when a trailer is full, but with different products 
probably from different companies, okay? So that's the difference. Okay, now the other one, we got picking and packing. What do you think is that for the ones who haven't participated that much? Picking and packing. Teacher, maybe yes. it's like a, like a process to prepare. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what do you say, lote of product and, yes, product. and, and carry on into the trailer or the truck. Okay. It's prepared and, 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 and carry on for the truck. Okay, very good. Thank you for your uh, your opinion and participation. Okay, good. What else, people? I mean, listen, the ones who had the camera off. Ah, uh, guys, what do you think about that one? That aspect that provides a third better logistics, and that goes for. Let me see. But uh, picking and packing is a. Uh... Recollect the product and put in boxes or in, in bags or depending on the package. And and some sometimes uh, labeling labeling the product. La la too. Labeling the product. Ah, okay. Good. Labeling the product. Yes. Very good. Very good. You know what is labeling the product, people? What is labeling the product? Gabby? What is labeling the product, Etiquetar? Gabby? Etiquetar. Etiquetar. Ah. Okay, it comes like that as well. Okay, very good. There you go. Good. Also, uh, we can know uh, in uh, when you send a freight like that, label also refers to send the product in pallets. You know what is a pallet? The word pallet. Have you ever heard that word? Pallet. And it's pallets. Arimas. Exactly, pallets. Uh, are those those uh, those uh, structures made of wood that generally trailers use to separate the products or to organize the product or label the products inside the trailer, right? Here is very common to see pallets mostly on uh, on uh, trailers, but uh, loaded with uh, bricks. With ladrillos, right? They they can they can uh separate and label bricks uh, in pallets. Okay, so basically, uh, as you were saying, guys, so picking and packing in that case is like you know like labeling the products in boxes and everything. All right, getting ready the product just to be delivered to one specific place, right? And uh, this is done uh, mostly when the product is getting ready to be delivered to a company, right? And transported, of course, all right? So basically, guys, these are uh, the different, you know, like uh, options that a third party logistics can provide, okay? Good, until here, guys, do you have any question? or idea about something that, you know, like we can clarify now before moving on. Oh, everything is going okay until here. Any question, guys? No? Okay, good. So if we don't have any question, I am going to, okay, perfect. 
I'm going to stop the presentation for now. And uh, let me see. The presentation, I got a, I got a picture that I want you to discuss. Listen, listen guys, I am going to send you a picture. No, you can take a screenshot here. Yeah, you will take a screenshot for me. Let's check this out. Let's show you this. Okay, good. And here it goes. If you see, this is a picture basically telling you how a third party company works. Okay, this is like the way how a third party company provider works. Okay, what do I want from these guys? Because I see that you're like, ah. Uh, Kind of, I don't know if it, if it is that you're like tired, but you don't want to participate that much. I want you to take a screenshot from this, from this um, picture there. Take a screenshot, please. And let me know when you had it. Done? Okay, perfect. Since we have been talking about what is a third party logistics providers, you have enough arguments to listen up. I want you to discuss this picture. I'm gonna send you to work in, 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 in groups. I want you to discuss this picture and I want you to describe to me when you come back, of course, I want you to describe to me that picture, how you as a group understand the picture, okay? What's the function of, uh, you know, like what you see on the picture, okay? And I want you to explain to me the process of it, okay? But before doing that, I would like to know who's as a real listener and who's active in the class. Okay, Stella is out. Manuel, are you okay, Manuel? Can you participate? Okay, I guess Manuel cannot participate yet. Edwin Vladimir uh, is as a listener. He's doing something in his job. Okay, Manuel, thank you for telling me. Kenya is busy as well. Jesus Christ. Uh, Edwin Alexander. I don't know if Edwin Alexander is. Give me a second, guys. I need to check. Yeah, both Edwins are out. Carla, you're there, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Fatima, will you fix the audio issues, Fatima? Can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. Okay, perfect. Ah, okay. There you go. Okay, so <laughs> there are very few people to practice. But anyways, let's try to do it, guys. A second, I'm gonna sign them manually because there are very few people. Oh my god! One second, guys. I don't do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I'm me. Are you there? You can participate, right? Yes. Yes, okay. yes. Perfect. Okay. Who was the one who told me who was to El Seguro? Osbin, can you participate? Yes, yeah, teacher. 
Okay, I don't perfect. Have... Okay, perfect. In fifteen and all this is missing. Okay, and okay, good. All right, guys, let's open up the breakout rooms now. And I will give you a couple of time for you to discuss that picture, and then we're gonna come back in here, okay? Better is running low. Hi, good evening. Hey. I, I think we have to describe the, the picture. Yes, yes, uh, I, I know. Uh, I think uh, like a bimbo, maybe uh, we have a, a factory. Could be, we, it could be the manufacturer, uh, the pair. The 3PL warehouse, we have a uh, OLC. So this is the picture. Okay. And we have to discuss what's happening here, right? Ah, okay, okay. So we have the manufacturer. Maybe it could be, you know, um, a, like a supplier company. Like the company that produces something, right? Yeah. And this company wants to distribute their product, right? Yeah. So I think the 3PL warehouse um, is where the product is. You know, mm -hmm. you go to, I mean, the product is for the pay of taxes and they they can give these other services not only this five but this base basically is uh, the triple company uh, made the all the process to the, in the warehouse for the for the customer Got it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Do you know another? Okay. We can review yeah. is that we talking before uh, um, the warehouse is the the place, this place? where the third part logistic uh, take uh, save the the products. the products and the third part logistics uh, take the 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 product from the manufacturer or uh, enterprises. Um, take them to the warehouse, uh, and after this, 
uh, they picking and package the products to send them to the final customer. I think this is it's like this. Yes, I agree. Lo invocamos, teacher, en español. <laughs> what happened? Una, una consulta. Yes. Este, si en el caso de nosotros, de, de, de Bimbo, eh, nosotros tenemos fábrica y digamos que nuestro warehouse, todos nuestros almacenes, pero subcontratamos el transporte. Eso aplica como un 3PL. Exactly. The transport that you hire, that's considered like 3PL. Okay, o sea, porque nosotros hacemos todo el, el picking, el packing. Ah. Y lo único que no hacemos es el, el mover el producto. Exactly. Ajá. O entonces, entonces esa empresa de transporte que les mueve el producto es considerada una third-party logistics provider. Ah, ok. Yes. And yes. then we are okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <We're talking. laughs> and, and so I have a question. Um, if you are a company or um, que tiene una de estas eh, características que usted nos describía, eh, ya, ya entra como otro pie. O tiene que cumplir, no tiene que cumplirlas todas. No, no, not all of them. Let's remember, listen. Si, si usted como producer, if, you, if you're the producer, if you're the manufacturer, so in that case, eh, you, you can produce a product, but if you don't have how to transport the product or a warehouse where to storage, to store the product, so you can hire a company like that, a third party logistics provider. So for the warehouse or probably for uh, that company to to give you their trucks to move, you know, like the product. So, but in that case, uh, if you're talking about the third party logistics, only with offering the transport and the storage of the product, that's the main function of a third party company to provide transport and to provide storage, the warehouse. That's one of the, okay. those are like the two main characteristics of a third party logistics provider, right? Transportation and storage. That's, that's, that's what they, they, they offer the most. I understand. Okay. Good. So you're ready, guys? I think. Okay, good. Let's go back again and then, and uh, you're going to tell me what you were doing. Okay. Nice. That was fast. So guys, now I guess you come up with an idea about the picture that you were discussing. Mm -hmm. That is great. Good. Who wants to be the first group to say, I want to be the first one. I know how to say it right now. Man, don't don't turn off your cameras when I'm saying something like that. The first <laughs> as soon as I start saying it, who was the, the first one? Everybody's turning off the cameras. Come on, guys. <laughs> you didn't start like that. Can I be the first one? Thank you, Noe Noemi. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because the rest is like hiding each other. <laughs> okay. You were working with uh, okay. with whom? 
Eh, eh, María Gabriela. Ajá, uh -huh. and? On, eh, only because I think Edwin was listening. Exactly, it's, it's true. Yeah. He's busy at at, at at job, at his work. Uh, okay, yeah. good. Okay, how do you understand uh, that? Yes, in this case, is uh, 3PL company is basically um, a company that provide a lot of services for the customers. In this case, is um, around the warehouse in the 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 products in this mm -hmm. case they recollect the product maybe to the factory or maybe to the uh, to the port or to the another place mm -hmm. and they um, pick up to the warehouse to the tripl warehouse mm -hmm. and they have to or can be the the packaging the receiving and the inventory management um in another in, in another time they provide the services of their, um, or receiving no for delivery the 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 emergencies of the another client this is basic for us okay very good thank you noemi Man, Noemi, you are very familiarized with this, with these things, and especially with uh, with freight <laughs> and and cargoes and everything. <laughs> uh, really, I work in a logistic company, uh, and and I I I have to uh, to relation with these terms. Uh, okay. I have to know about. It. Ah, good. What's what's the name of what is the name of the company that you are working for? I'm sorry, I turned off my camera because the internet is is a slowly. All right, no problem. And what what's the name of the company that you're working for? Uh, GLC El Salvador. Ah, wow, okay. I mean that's great. You know what? I am working on weekends. Do you remember, guys, that I told you that I have a, a job that is basically at nights and I'm finishing uh, at midnight? Yeah. Saturdays and Sundays? Yes. It's a, it's a, it's a logistics. Yes, I remember. It's a logistics company. And I know the terms of oh. LTL, uh, you know, like all that. What is a freight and everything? What is a deliver? What is a receiver? What is a cheaper and everything? Because I'm working on a logistics company as well. But the, but that company, it's uh, located in the United States, and the function of that company is is a per, actually it's a third party logistics company, <laughs> uh, and. Uh, it's uh, located in in Houston, Texas, and the function of the company is to provide services of truck transportation from merchandise from from one state to another one. So that company it's across all the United States. So basically, my function is to truck to truck the drivers to be on time at the receiver and at the shipper. And at the same time, when a trailer goes for about what? Let's suppose the trailer goes for a load uh, that is going to be delivered in five days. So I had to be constantly uh, uh, checking and tracking at the driver, asking for the current location where the driver is, if there any issue, because in there, uh, trailers and everything, they work with appointment times. They are very strict on appointment times. If they tell, hey, I need you to be here at 2 p.m., it's because they had to be there at that time. So that, that, that's basically the function of that job. And that's, that's what's pretty interesting. In the United States, the time is, is basic for the for the logistics. Exactly. And, and actually, all, the, they... all the things that they do, they have, they, have, they must be on time. 
exactly. Now, one of the problems that are facing drivers when they they have their, their loads, or, you know, on movement, uh, is that they call us because there are a lot of roads that are, that are closed because of the ice or because of the snow. They tell us, hey, look, I, I need you to contact mm, the receiver yeah. because the road is closed and it is going to be open until tomorrow so we cannot move. So in that case, yeah, I mean, our function is to call the brokers. They call brokers to people who, who do that thing. And, and, and yeah, I mean, and we have to notify them just to reschedule, you know, like the time, the time, the appointment time and everything. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty interesting, interesting to, to be working in a company like that. Yeah, kind of interesting. All right, guys. So that was cool. So, Gabby, besides what Noemi was saying, what else can you add on that? You were working with her. Uh, also, she mentioned, yeah, also she mentioned that it's not a three part. A logistic company there are also one pl two pl and even a five pl it depends of the services that they offer or the services they have for their customers just that okay good 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 observation thank you gabby now uh <laughs> i will give you the chance for you girls to tell me who do you want to be the next one just give me a name Okay, Gabby says, no, I don't want to be Lichada. Okay, Noemi, give me a name. Uh, I don't know, um, Kenya, maybe? Kenya is, is out of uh, out of uh, the, 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 the participation. Um, today, I don't know, I can't I can see the, the, the participants in this moment. Um, Eduardo? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Noemi. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. No problem. Okay. Uh, uh, the picture can I can explain like that. Uh, the third part, the third part uh, logistics. Uh, have a warehouse uh, in this place. Uh, they take the goods and the products in safe from many manufacturers, uh, many factories, many clients, I think. And uh, where, when the products are in the warehouse, they have a uh, um, a person who who do the inventory mm -hmm. uh, for different uh, uh, factories or manufacturer or, or clients and after that uh, another person another uh, step of the of the, of the process uh, they pick and, and package the the, the products for uh, different uh, customers. Uh, they can be business or final customers. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, who were you working with? What? Who were you working ah, with? I, I work with uh, Fatima and Osbling. Okay, good. Let me see. Osbin, yes. All right. Fatima and Osbin, what else can you add? Besides what Eduardo said. Mm, in the picture, I can see that there is a manufacturer who is the responsible to produce the goods. Mm -hmm. And maybe it doesn't have the... The space enough to to have the products in the manufacturer so they contract contract contratar uh -huh. how contract. Is. or hire instead uh, uh, hire a third part logistic to uh, 
to save the the goods and which can distribute to the customer business. Okay, very good. Thank you, Fatima. Osby? Yeah, oh, yes, uh, I agree with my classmate. Um, in the beginning, the manufacturer um, hired a, a service for a traps and then then the the trucks uh, go to the warehouse mm -hmm. apply and uh, and the warehouse apply the trpls and they shipping and receive the product and then uh, picking and packing the product uh, for finally uh, go to the customer business. Okay, very good. Thank you, Spin, Eduardo, and Fatima. You did it excellent. Now, Mary, what about you, Mary? Let's go. Well, with um, working on. I I I seen all all my cla classmates um talking about the functions in 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 entry part of the process complete, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in the in third pa party logistic warehouse, um, the process is basically um, uh, keeping the product in good conditions. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's important to say that in this place, uh, it's important to uh, prepare or picking the product for the um, correct way because this product have to be um, translated um, in good condition to the customer business. And a uh, uh, three third party logistics have a responsibility with a, a manufacturer because mm -hmm. in the manufacturer, uh, all people it um do don't don't no um all people um complete the process uh to be a the bet to be um to have a a better product right and the responsibility for a third party logistic warehouse is so big yeah i mean it's huge exactly good who were you working with i i work with uh carla yeah <laughs> okay, okay um, carla. yeah basically the same right we were talking that uh, what we can see in the picture is the manufacturer uh, you know, after all the process that the manufacturer has, uh, you know, about producing the product and packaging, then they hire a 3PL, um, you know, company to kind of distribute the products because, you know, as you say, not all the manufacturers companies has their trucks, right? So they need them to distribute to the customer's business and we can, uh, you know, we're talking about Bimbo <laughs> and how it is, you know, it is all done with them and how they produce their products and how they hire these trucks to distribute their products to supermarkets. Uh, you know, it's kind of a wholesaler and retail seller. I mean, a retail um, way or channel. So, uh, yeah, basically that. Oh, very good. Uh, wasn't Elgin with you, right? No, right? No, it was with Lorena. I don't remember. No. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Carla and Mary. You did it excellent. Now, Lorena. And she's throwing for examples. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no problem. Good, good. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> 
we uh, we we take as uh, example uh, Bimbo that is the third party company to de de deliver its its product because uh, they don't uh, have their transportation and this is a um, uh, third party and triple to to us and um, it's not necessary uh, meets meets que cumpla accomplish accomplish all the characteristics mm -hmm. of a uh, teacher script script uh, in the beginning okay very good who who are working with you who was working with you with Daisy and Edwin. Okay, good. Daisy. Okay. Uh, in our case, uh, it's, uh, for example, the company Bimbo. <laughs> Bimbo produced different uh, floor product. Uh, all the process in the manufacturer, mm. they produce, packing, and other process. Uh, and then companies are, are hired to dis distribute and different and different uh, supermarkets, gas stations, stores, and only that. <laughs> okay, good, good. Edwin, can you participate for a moment? Yes. Uh, uh, maybe uh, our idea is uh, Bimbo have a factory and this is considered like a manufacturer. Uh, have a warehouse, but not uh transportation in this case uh we we, uh, we hire only the transportation the tripl for move our products for our own warehouse and clients like uh supermarkets and this is uh, the 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 example uh, okay for a picture all right so in that case but but those, those big because i have seen those those cars that that has a big logo of bimbo elwin in which they are basically trailers i got a big logo of bimbo so that's a third party logistic transportation yes uh actually is a requirement the uh of bimbo for a a triple uh -huh. that they the had truck, to use that they had the, to use the, the logo truck, yes the truck is not uh for bimbo but uh, the logo but the, the uh -huh, exactly but the product is from bimbo so <laughs> they had to be you know like with with the big uh, you know like uh yes. Good, good. With the big banner of Bimbo. Okay, I, I didn't know that. I thought Bimbo was completely full with everything. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Okay, thank you for the example, people. That was great. That was great. Let me see. Is there any other group that might be missing? Let me see. Mm -mm. Not actually. Jesus Christ, where are your classmates? Okay, good, guys. So, Basically, we have been discussing about that. Now it is going. It is time to continue talking. But now, we're not talking about something specific. Now we're gonna run up a short conversation. All right. I'm truly interested, people, in you to speak more. So <laughs> that's why I'm bringing short conversation just for you to, you know, like get a little bit more fluent. Okay. And in this time, I bring a conversation related to a third party logistics company. So in this case, the conversation is between Pedro and Carlos. Okay. 
<sighs> if you don't have any if you have any question with uh, you know like the vocabulary do it at the end of uh, the practice and here pedro says listen hello carlos it says i see your favorite company is growing fast i think it is time for you to hire a warehouse company in which help you to transport and store your product it says carlos yes the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a third-party company. Pero says, I mention it because you get stressed when you have to move product from the facility to another. And sometimes you don't even have a space here. Uh, Carlos says, there are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third party company. It says, Pedro, I have this web page. In here, you can find some. Call them and ask for advice. Carlos says, thank you. I will check each one of those and I'll, and I'll, let me see, and let's see what happens. And let's see what happens. I guess, guys, this vocabulary is like very basic for you, very easy for you. You don't have any issue with that. Or do you have any question with that vocabulary? Probably any word that you might be troubles with. You know, like having troubles with. No. Easy as that. Good. Take a screenshot, guys. I'm going to send you to practice this short conversation for a couple of minutes. And we'll be getting to know each other more with these short practices. You finish? Great. So I'm gonna stop sharing this and we're gonna practice that conversation. But uh, let me see, I want to reconfirm. Osbin, you're there, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. I just wanted to reconfirm that you were there because I am going to recreate the breakout rooms. Do them all again. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Teacher, you share the conversation in for chat or work? No, no, on the screen. Okay. Can you show again, please? Okay. Good, good. I will show it again. So you can take on a screen. There you have. Can you see it now? Great. Thank you, teacher. I got it. Okay, good. Perfect. So give me a second. I am selecting you guys. Use the forward. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. But not all of you are connected because I don't know where to choose people. Okay, I guess these are the people. Manuel is not there. Kenya is working. Edwin Vladimir is busy. Daniel Archimedes is uh, okay. He's busy as well. Okay, guys. I think I have finished. Let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to practice that conversation for a couple of minutes, okay? Then we're going to come back in here and practice. Five. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I have, if you if you want, I can uh share my my screen. Um. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Let's go practice. Mm -hmm. Do you want okay. to be Pedro or Carlos? Mm, whatever. Um, Pedro, maybe. Okay. okay. I start. Let's go start. Okay. Hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it's, it is time for you to hire a warehouse company which helps to which which helps you to transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a third party company. I mentioned it because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another and sometimes Sometimes you don't even have a space here. There are difficult days something, sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third party company. I have this web page in here. You can find some, call them and ask for advice. Thank you. I will check each one of those and let's see what happens. Okay. I okay. Can change. Okay. I'm Pedro. <laughs> Hello, yes. Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it is time for you to hire a warehouse company which helps you to transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a three a third party company. I mention it because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have this. For hire to hire a warehouse company which helps you to transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think of hiring a third party. A company. I mention it because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have a space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for third party company. I have the web. web. Oh. Call them and ask for advice. Thank you. I will check each one of those and let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to be Pedro. From one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have space here. There are difficult days sometimes but I don't know where to search for a third part company. I have this web, web page. In here you can find some, call them and ask for advice. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now Carla, we can change. Okay. Let's begin you. Or know. do you want it to practice uh, one more time? Oh, okay. Gaby. I am. I am. Gaby. Pedro. Yes. Gaby. Okay. Sure. Yes. Tell me. Man, the next time that you're trying to take on a screenshot of me, please let me know and not put that face, man. <laughs> 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 and then next time man that's funny face okay let's continue 
probably um, do you want to be better now? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it is time for you to hire a warehouse company which helps you to transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a third party company. I mentioned it's because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have a space here. There are difficult dates sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third party company. I have this with space and here you can find some tell them and ask for advice thank you i will check each one of those and let's see what happens okay it's okay <laughs> uh, i'm finished You're done with that, guys? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's go back to the main section now then. And uh, I want to listen to you there, guys. Okay? See okay. you there. Oh my god, I see some of you very sad. Okay, guys, let's uh, start. And again, guys, who wants to be the first one? Uh -huh, yeah. Okay, give me a second. Daisy, ah, who are you working, Daisy? Lorena. Okay, then it goes Eduardo. Okay, good. So let's start. Hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it is time for you to hear to hire a warehouse company which helps you to transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on, on hire a third party company. I mention it because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have a space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third party company. I have this web page. In here, you can find some. Call them and ask for advice. Thank you. I will check. I will check uh, each one of those and let's see what happens. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Lorena and Daisy. You did it excellent. Oh, Eduardo. Okay. I work with. Uh... <laughs> you forgot who you were working with? I think it was Fatima. I it? work with Carla. Ah, Carla. Okay. Only Carla? In Kenya. Uh, in Kenya. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Kenya is available now? Okay, perfect. There you go. Let's do something. Let's make this up as, as a circle. Eduardo. That's with Carla. Then Carla with Kenya. And Kenya will finish the practice to you again, Eduardo. Okay? Okay. Like a circle. Let's go. Okay, first. Uh, hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it is time for you to hire a warehouse company which helps you to transport and store your products. Yes. The company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a third party company. Animation is because you get stressed when you have to move product. Uh, give, give me a second, give me a second. Another. 
Give me a second. Okay. Give me a second, guys. Kenya, uh, I, I want to listen to you separately because uh, in that way, you will you will finish like so fast. No, it's just Eduardo and Carla first and then with you, Kenya, okay? In here, it will be like more personalized. Oh my God, what? Don't tell me I have internet issues. Guys, are you there? <laughs> Ay, no, se acabó la fiesta. <laughs> Hey, ¿cómo así? <laughs> Ahora sí, a todos corriendo a, a, a turning on the, the cameras, right? <laughs> ah, come on, guys. No, man, and I was thinking, oh, Jesus, I don't want to upload two videos on, on YouTube again. Because when the internet fails, sometimes what uh, Zoom does is like take me out of the meeting and then uh, pause the recording. And, uh, and we a have party. Yeah. And a video starts converting. You have a party there on the other side, of course. And I'm crying because I need to replace that time, the missing time, and everything. So, uh, you know, but luckily we are back again. <sighs> let's continue. Okay, let's do it once again. Remember, Eduardo, you're right now with, uh, and I was explaining that, I mean, Jesus. Um, Work with Carla right now, and then Carla will work with uh, Enya, okay? I was explaining that when Zoom okay. kicked me out of, of, of the meeting. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it is time for you to hire a warehouse company which helps you to transport and store your products. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think of hiring a third party company. Okay, I mention it because you get the stress when you have to move product from one facility to another. And sometimes you don't even have a space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third party company. I have this web page. In here you can find some. Call them, call them and ask for advice. Thank you. I will check each one of those and let's see what happens. Okay, very You're good. welcome. Perfect. Now I'm with Kenya, right? Exactly. Or... Now I work as Pedro and then Kenya as Carlos. Okay. Okay. So, hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it is time for you to hire a warehouse company which helps you to transport and store your product. Yes. It's growing fast. I think. It's too early to think on hiring a third party company. I mention it because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another. And sometimes you don't even have space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third party company. I have this web page. In here, you can find some. Call them and ask for advice. I will show each one. Oh, and let's see. Okay, and let's see what happens. There you go. Thank you, Kenya. Thank you, Carla. And uh, Eduardo, you did it excellent, okay? Now, let's move on. Uh, Elwin Alexander, who were you working with? 
with uh, Fatima Lourdes. Okay, good. Let's go. Hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it's time for you to hire a warehouse company which helps you to transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a third company, a third party company. I mention it because you get stressed when you have to move products from one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have to stay here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third party company. I have this web page. In here, you can find some and call them and ask for advice. Thank you. I will check each one of those and let's see what happened. Okay, very good. Thank you to you both guys. You did it excellent. Now, Noemi. Okay, I work with Maria Raquel. Maria Raquel. Okay. Okay. So, Hello, Carlos. I see you far, your fabric company is growing fast. I think it's time for you to hire a warehouse company which helps you to transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a third party company. I mentioned it because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have a space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third party company. I have this web page, and here you can find some. Call them and ask for advice. Thank you. I will check each one of those and let's see what happens. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mary. And Naomi, you did excellent. Now, Gabby. Hi. I was working with Osvaldo, I think. Osvin. 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 <laughs> okay, good. Let's go. Uh, hello, Carlos. Uh, hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it's time for you to hire a warehouse company which helps you to, to not which help helps you to transport and store your product. Osvin, you there? You have issues with the audio? Give me one second. I will send you a, a request for you to unmute. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay. Nice. I'm ready. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a third party company. I mention it because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another. And sometimes you don't even have space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third party company. I have this way page. In here, you can find some. Call them and ask for advice. Thank you. I will check each one of those and let's see what happens. Very good, and let's see what's up. Okay, very good. Thank you, Gabi and Osbin. Now, who's next? Mary, did you participate already? Yeah, right, okay, good. Who hasn't participated, guys? Let me see. Lorena has already participated. Daisy as well. Did everybody participate already? Okay. Good. I guess everybody, yeah, because the other ones are just as listeners. Okay, guys. 
let's move on. Now, just in order to finish with the class time, I want we to focus on this. Listen, this is going to be the last, the last thing that you're gonna be doing. Open up your manuals, people. Please open up your manuals in page 20. Specifically to the exercise number two. This one, you're going to do it individually. Page 20, exercise two. And it says... Uh, Mary, help me read in the indication for an exercise two, please. Yes, teacher. Number the steps to outsource a third party logistics provider. Okay, very good. Listen up. When it says outsource, it's talking about hiring, okay? A third party logistic providers, right? So it says number the steps to outsource or hire a third party logistics provider. And you have develop a detailed plan for the 3PL uh, section process, evaluate, interview, and select, review the checklist on 3PL capabilities. And then we got do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. What do I want in there? I want you to put from number one and on the steps that you think they have to follow up, okay? Just number the steps. All right, let's do it, guys. I will give you five minutes for you to do that. Let me know if you have any, any question with that. For example, did you say just just in order for you to 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 have a an starting you know an starting point. In this case, I will give you the first one just to be fair. Okay, that's page twenty. Okay, on page twenty, in here, guys, in here, mm -hmm. I'm gonna share. Okay, listen, you had this ones right. In here, if you take a look, it says develop a detailed plan for the triple section process. This one cannot be the first one. Okay, definitely this one it cannot be the first one. Evaluate, interview, and select. Mm, probably. Then we have review the checklist of the triple capabilities, and then we have do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. This one, guys, is the first one. Because in order for you to hire a third party logistics uh, company, you'd have to do an internal assessment of your current and future needs, all right? And then you will identify if you do really need an extra company for you to store your products and everything, right? So in that case, in here, I will select number one, okay? Put number one in this one. And then continue with the other ones, okay? There you go, just let me know when you finish, okay? Just put the number, okay? Don't complicate that much. I ah, okay, perfect.
Just let me know, guys, if you have any question or something that you may not understand that much. Finished. Okay, perfect. Finish. Okay, perfect. Finish. Okay, excellent. All right, guys, I guess most of you have already finished. So I am going to share. I'm going to share the manual. Give me a second, where's the manual? Right here. Okay, very good. So in this one, we said that this one is the first one, right? Do an inter uh, an internal assessment of your current and uh, future needs. What do you think, guys? It's number two. Develop a detailed plan for the three PL selection process. Exactly. Very good, thank you. This is number one in here, guys. It goes number two. Perfect. What about that number three, guys? What do you think it is? Review the checklist. Review the checklist. Okay, very good. That's the one. Number three and number four. <laughs> Obviously, the last one. Evaluate, interview, and select, right? So it goes that way. If you had it like that, guys, so it means it is correct. Okay. Very good, guys. Very good. And it's pretty simple for it, of you. Okay. Very nice. Okay, guys. Listen. I don't know if you have if you have uh, seen uh, uh the platform. I was reading a couple of messages that you sent on the on the WhatsApp group today afternoon and I was and I was working actually and that, that's why I couldn't answer uh any of the messages uh, that you were uh writing down in, in 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 the WhatsApp group listen something happens with the platform in the platform guys if you have the time listen if you have the time and you understand the homework that is in there there's no need uh, for you to go according to the specific date that we're working on. You can move on if you if you want, you can move on with the homework and there's no problem, okay? Uh, I wanted to show you something just for you to remember. This, uh, at least for this week, at least for this week, If you see here, guys, if you see on this section, okay, if you see on this section, it goes like this. This is like the video conference number six. Okay, here is the video. And at the same time in here, it's number seven. 
Okay, so right after this buff video conferences, you have the homework in here. Okay, in here, basically, every two video conferences, you have a homework. Okay, so in that case, for example, uh, like right now, we are in a, this is like the video conference number eight and number nine. Then we have the homework in here. And then this is in here. It's going to be located, the video conference, the, the one that we're doing right now, and the one that is going to be on Monday in here, okay, which is going to be 11. So right after this one, you're going to have the homework in here, which is this one over here. Okay, guys, one thing, if you understand the process, if you understand how to do the, the homework, you can move on, okay, and there is no problem. Actually, that's beneficial to you because you can practice, okay? So we're going to be that way until, what, video conference 15, okay? Until the video conference number 13. So we're going to end up with this one, right? So in that case, let's remember every two video conferences that we have, there is a homework that we uh, select in here and do in here. So this is like the way how you can be working in the platform, okay? So if you want, as I said, if you want to, to move on with that, you can do it, okay? The only thing that you cannot do, guys, is to get stuck, okay? Lo único que no pueden hacer es parar de hacer las tareas. And before you go, I wanted to show you how you are going with this, okay? This is really important for you to keep working on this, guys, all right? Let's remember that this is like part of the process that we have in this module, and if you have bad grades in here, you're staying for the next module will be very, very, Crochet. Let me. Manuel, are you there, Manuel? Yes, teacher. <clears throat> All right, Manuel. Uh, do you have access to the platform? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Manuel. Because I don't see any 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 homework from here. I need your homework, Manuel. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Manuel. I will appreciate if you start working on that, okay? Uh, another one uh, I wanted to talk to you, it's, uh, let me see. No, Mary's okay. Yeah, most of you are okay, guys, in here. So let me see which one is the last one I got in here. Yes, most of you got 96. And uh, you have 96 because there is one mistake in the platform. It's not because you got 96 and that's it. No, it's because if you remember, there's one specific homework in there in which the, the number two, I think it is, uh, it, it has a mistake, okay? And uh, they haven't corrected that yet. So that's why you got 96 on uh, homework one, okay? On week one, basically, right? Please, if you had time this weekend, uh, try to dedicate at least 10 minutes to the platform and try to continue with the homeworks, okay? That's my suggestion to you guys. And uh, now I'm gonna pass the attendance okay. list just to send you to sleep, guys, because you look tired. And the only thing you want right now is to sleep. Like me, the only sad part is that I cannot go to sleep like right after I finish classes. Ah, so sad. Okay, anyways. So let's start. Let's see. Carmen Eugenia. He was connected. Christian Alejandro. Christian is not here. Daniel Archimedes. Hi, person. I am here. I listen. Uh, Okay, perfect. Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, great. Edwin Alexander. Present. Okay, very good. 
Edwin Vladimir. Present teacher. Okay, great. Estela Mabel. Present teacher. Okay, great. Fátima Adriana. Okay, Fátima was missing. Fátima Lourdes. Present. Okay, great. Jaime Antonio. Okay, Jaime is not here. Let's see. Eduardo Jose. Present teacher. All right, Eduardo, we couldn't have the, the, the feedback the, the, like a couple of classes ago, if you remember, we didn't have it. So can we have it today? It's just a couple of minutes, okay? It's not, it's not gonna be taken that much. Okay, thank you. Carla Lisset. Here, teacher. Okay, great. Kenya Cecilia. I am here. Okay, perfect. Lorena Beatriz. Present. Okay, great. Manuel Antonio. Present. Okay, good. Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay, great. Uh, let me see. Mary Raquel. Present. Okay, very good. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, nice. And the last one, Osvin Alexis. Present. Okay, great people. It was a pleasure to have you here again. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and let's see you on Monday, okay? Bye-bye, people. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. See you. Uh, yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> All right, Eduardo. So this time is 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 just for us to clarify any any doubt or any question that you might have related to this class and previous classes, Eduardo. So I don't know if you have any question related to that. No, it's okay. Everything. I think uh, okay. when I have question, I don't in the moment yeah i mean that's that's something i do really like because uh you try to participate you try to be active on 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 the class and uh, every time you have a doubt you raise your hand or you turn on your microphone that's what all of your classmates should do and that's what i'm telling them to do but yeah, i mean they, they're like kind of shy sometimes yeah because you know in that way you don't uh, create that uh, like feeling in which uh, you say like, ah, oh, I mean, I got a doubt, but uh, I won't ask yet. So that doubt needs to stay in there and that's an issue probably in the future, right? So that's why I'm like yeah, doing yeah. this kind of activities, uh, production activities in which you guys practice more now. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, there you go. So. The if thing is that uh, if you want to uh, know about the pronunciation of all of the the English, you need to practice. That why that's why I I, I want to practice uh, participate. Exactly, uh, and in that case, you gain fluency as well. Exactly, that's great on you. Okay, and I'm I'm pretty sure you don't have any. Any idea, any question? Then with the platform, we're okay, right? We're going okay. Uh, just okay. The platform, I I done the the homeworks. I only uh, have two uh, the 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 two one o oh, eight or two one two one six and two one eight. I don't know. Uh, I'm uh, I'm not doing yet, but I think uh, tomorrow. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, I will appreciate that if you do that, okay? Thing I need to ask. Um, I don't remember right now, but I try to, to ask you on Monday. Ah, okay, very good. So, Eduardo, if there's no any other doubt, okay, I will let you 
to, to rest, okay? And have a wonderful okay. weekend, okay? Thank you. Good night. Good All right. Good night. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. So basically, uh, what today we were doing is just to be talking about the advantages of outsourcing a 3PL service provider. A 3PL, we can understand that it's basically a third party logistics service provider. What is basically a third party service logistics provider? It's basically those kind of companies that they offer um, the warehouses or facilities all right, for other companies that are producers of, you know, like any kind of product and they don't have a, like a storages or facilities where to storage, you not know, where to store their products. So these third party logistics companies or service providers, what they do is just to offer the facilities, the warehouse, and uh, many more options to those companies, all right, to uh, store, manage, and transport, basically. And that's another very important aspect, uh, transport the product from one specific point to another one. So in that case, the students were talking about that. They were doing uh, uh, some production activities also using a, a vocabulary that we were practicing, right? And that's really important because in that way, uh, we can, you know, like increase our fluency and vocabulary related to this topic. It's very interesting. We were also talking about two different ways that of, uh, trailers that companies generally offer and the first one it's ftl ftl what and you might wonder what does ftl stand for and an ftl it's basically when a trailer is completely full with one specific product okay, from a company, all right? So it's basically when a trailer is completely full with one specific product from one specific. This trailer, it goes the lane, he makes the lane only one time from the, you know, like from the shipper to the receiver, all right? So in that case, there is no other way for this trailer to stop. And there is another one that it's called LTL, all right? LTL freight. So what is an LTL freight? Basically it's when a trailer has multiple, listen up, when a trailer has multiple products from different companies. Okay, so when uh, a trailer has multiple products from different companies, what these kind of trailers generally do, uh, it's that uh, they go first to deliver the product that was sent first or the delivery or the appointment time is like very close, right? I'm talking about time, very close to be delivered. So that's the way how this type of service, LTL service, uh, provides, right? That a trailer does multiple drops on uh, uh, different places, okay? Uh, we were also talking about the paralogistics, uh, you know, like what they offer. What do they offer? And the main function, remember, the main function of a third party logistic provider is that they provide the warehouse, 
okay, for companies who can't have, you know, like access to, to something like that, like a warehouse, right? So they keep the product for them. Uh, the other one that we were discussing it was inventory management. So a third party logistics company can function as that again, right? And uh, another one very important is shipping and receiving. All right, shipping, because remember, a trailer can go to the shipper and get loaded and then send that product to another location. So in that case, that other location can be done or understood as receiving, as the word says, are the ones who receive, right? Are the ones who receive the products. Then what we got in there, pa picking and packing, if you remember. So picking and packing is, is, is basically the process of uh, you know, like grabbing a product and put that product into boxes and grabbing that uh, that product with the uh, with bags and everything, all right. So that's like the word pack comes from also, right? And let's remember this process is really is essential for business people to be, you know, acquaintance acquaintance. Because uh these it's like the way how okay how the uh, companies work generally work right so basically this was a brief summary about what we were discussing during you know like the class time and I stayed uh, at this time because I explained to you guys because there are some students that were supposed to do the activity, yes. but they were uh, as a listener because they were working. So in that case, cannot do something that, right? So that's it for tonight. And I hope to see each one of you guys the next class, okay? So, bye-bye.